But the ugly side of the carnivore diet is that in this year I actually lost half of my hair. I had to take it to a stream, yeah. They y'all looking at me sideways. Hello, this is C Siren Janine, and for today's video, I have compiled a bunch of clips from female carnivore slash keto diet channels. So it's either carnivore channels, keto channels, or keto carnivore channels. I have clips from all, a bunch of channels about these women, how they are all experiencing hair loss to some degree. Now these are cherry picked clips. They're all losing hair, but they're all losing hair for different reasons or what they think is different reasons. And a lot of them try to explain why they're having hair loss on their diet. And some of them have no idea. Now, a lot of them have figured out the problem and have started to regrow their hair, but some of these women have never figured out how to regrow their hair on the carnivore keto, carnivore keto diet on YouTube, carnivore keto diet and hair loss. And you will see tens of these videos pop popping up and you can feel free to watch all of them and if you if you're experiencing hair loss to try to figure out why you are losing hair on the carnivore keto or and or diet um, and see if you can find a solution that can resonate with you but like I said these these reasons that I'm going to put up for the hair loss on this diet are in no particular order and they may or may not work and they may or may not have worked for these women. Now I'm not doing this to bash the carnivore and or keto diet. All I want to do is show you that this is very common, hair loss on this type of diet. And if you don't get the diet right, this may be one of your symptoms and this way you can maybe have an idea of what to look for or understand what's going on with your diet or, or your body or the process and maybe try to fix it sooner rather than later. Um, I think it'll be very helpful. I actually, the reason why I'm making this video actually, okay, is because last week on I think it was one of my, yeah, my Frankie video where he, I, I was joking that he's an end stage car, carnivorism, which it, it's really not joking. It's true. But anyway, one of you guys asked me, what about hair loss for my girlfriend who is eating a carnivore diet? And I responded, I said, there is, this is a very common problem. You're going to have to look it up because there's many reasons, there's many solutions. So this is just something to think about. I'm just exposing that this is something that's real. Even if you're eating a high nutrient dense diet, in my opinion, it's not the natural human diet to not eat any plants or carbs whatsoever or keep a super low carb diet. Yes, I understand that this type of diet can be very healing to, to a lot of people, especially with specific diseases, such as, you know, autoimmune disease or diabetes or malnutrition or recovering from veganism. This is a very beneficial diet, yes, but it also, because it's not the natural human diet, it also, it's, it's kind of like a science diet. You, it's kind of like the vegan diet, like you have to figure it out and you have to do it right or else you're going to have some problems. All right, and that being said, like, okay, not all. I know not, not all of you are going to experience this. A lot of you actually grow way better, more beautiful, shiny hair. I, I do understand this. Okay, okay, that out of the way, <laughs> disclaimer. Um, let Before we get into it, thank you for watching and subscribing and liking to support my channel. Um, all of my social media links will be below. The intro music is my daughter. Her channel is linked below. Um, what Ken was saying was that keto or any type of carnivore um, reality would not uh, make your hair fall out. And that's not true. It totally does if it's done wrong. 
when people do these two um, dietary measures or collective long, then the problem, the reason why people's hair is falling out, and even though I love you so much, Dr. Ken Berry, um, who's very awesome, and when I go visit my mom, I'll go and say hello to him and his wife as well. Look up the stream. But the thing is, because I coach so many people and over the years, the problem is that people have underlying issues with their thyroid or their thyroid hormone, and then when, or they're stressed in their life, and then when they do a keto or keto carnivore, they, um, their body's not making one gasoline type or the other. So if your glycogen storage is, is glycogen storage is depleted, and you're not producing enough viable ketones with regulated blood sugar, if you have an underlying thyroid uh, situation going on with the hormones, you'll notice that your hair starts falling out. And this is very common, and how I know this is not only have I worked with thousands of people over the years, but I also have people nonstop DMing me why, when they start keto, did their hair start falling out? Or how your hair can actually become fabulous on keto and grow, and be wonderful, or it can actually fall apart, dry up, dry up like tumbleweeds and fall out of your head. So let's separate the, the reasons why both, and then uh, if you're doing keto and your hair is flourishing, then that's good, I'll tell you some of the reasons why probably, and if it's falling out, let's fix it and make it better. Okay. okay. A quick question that we get on Instagram, have you guys experienced a lot of hair loss when you switch to a carnivore diet? And to be honest, before about a month or two ago, we didn't really have a good answer to this because we were still experiencing some extra hair loss. Yeah, so since going carnivore, we have seen improvements in our hair, so fullness, overall, just like strength, healthier, stronger, but we were shedding a lot, meaning like when we would take a shower and like clean out the shampoo and conditioner in our hair, we would be like, we'd pull hairs out like yeah. clumps. Clumps of hairs would come out in the shower, and so we didn't really think this was that normal, and we didn't figure this out, but for a few weeks ago. Stress. Stress is particularly relevant if you are just now switching to a low-carb keto or carnivore diet because when we go undergo dietary changes, that is a lot of stress on your body and it might start coping with it in a different way, such as losing hair. But if you continue to see hair loss, that is a red flag. All right, the second reason is caloric restriction or weight loss. So there are a few studies confirming that significant weight loss can lead to increased hair loss. And this makes sense, since when your body is in a caloric deficit, your body may shut off some non-essential items, such as producing more hair. To increase your collagen consumption, whether that's through collagen supplements, bone broth, or other parts that are rich in collagen, such as skin, tendons, pig feet, pig feet chicken skin, chicken skin, etc. Today, I'm gonna to talk about hair loss on keto, and then how I regrew it back on carnivore. A lot of weight loss at one time. I lost weight very quickly when I started keto and transitioned to carnivore, and I think that a large amount of weight loss very quickly does result in your body kind of freaking out and you start shedding some hair. The main mistake though I think people make when they start a keto diet is they're under eating protein. Hair. People ask me about hair. I lost a lot of hair that first year and then again I didn't have a lot of knowledge on what I was doing. I was just staying under 20 net carbs. I wasn't tracking calories. I wasn't tracking fat to protein ratios. My hair's come back full force so if you're worried that it's never going to come back, it will. And I will insert a picture. But the ugly side of the carnivore diet is that in this year, I actually lost half of my hair. This is total disappointment. This is so annoying. I had a depression because of that. And I know I did a video and I explained to you that there is no way the carnivore diet is giving me hair loss, but I cannot find any other reason. I know I spoke about stress and moving out, but it does not supposed to give you such a hair loss. And again, I did all the blood tests, I went to all the doctors, I don't have anything wrong in my body. The carnivore diet did give me hair loss, because there is no other reason. I cannot find other reasons for that. And after I started the carnivore diet a month or two, then I started to notice a major hair loss, which is really, really annoying. So basically, I have like chunks of hair that are not on my head. I, I lost my hair in this section, and at the back of my head, all my hair, like 50% of my hair is in the garbage. Right now, I do see some new growth, but again, I don't know if that new growth is actually going to stay on my head because it's very brittle. It's small hairs that are starting to grow. Like I have here, I don't know if you can see this. Do you see this chunk? Of... But it will take like years to grow again, and this is very annoying. Now, I know many people, especially the ketogenic diet people, are telling to you that, oh, don't worry, your hair will grow back, and it will grow even 
thicker. I hope it will happen. But I just don't understand like why the hair is supposed to fall on the carnivore diet in the first place. Like there is something that has to do with carbs. So anyways, I also want to mention that to all the ketogenic diet people, I did not have major weight loss that I can actually tell you that yes, you know, I just lost 50 kilos and my hair is falling out. I only lost 5-6 kilos. Like, this is a joke. It's not even serious. And you don't, you don't supposed to lose half of your hair because of 5 kilos. So this is very weird and this is a mystery for me. And I'm not doing fasting. I'm not starving myself. So why my hair is falling? Like, I eat whatever I want. I eat 3-4 times a day. I snack. I mean, carnivore snacks. I eat, I don't starve myself. So you see, this is very, very weird. Some female told me that she actually loses her hair when she's not eating grains, when she's not eating bread. And this is really, really weird. Like I cannot even believe that, but maybe it's true. So in the past week, I actually ate some bread. I ate some grains. I really don't want to do that, but if that will actually make my hair grow, like I will have no choice. I will have to eat grains. When it came to hair loss, I lost, I would say, maybe about half of the strands of my hair. And if you're keeping your hair short and you keep up with your haircuts, it's still a drag. I always had hair that would grow long, and I'm going to show you some pictures throughout this. The picture I'm showing is um, from 2012, and um, I was sitting abroad in Bilbao, and I did that thing that all girls do, we bring our hair to the front movie magic okay we just bring it to the front so it looks nicer um but so it's really long and it looks really full um so that's about what my hair has always been like before i started keto um so then about a year into keto i still had long hair i hadn't cut it really at all i've just been trimming it um, on my own because i was broke but so i still had this long hair and i didn't notice any hair fall out okay like and let me just note here too throughout my whole life you know there would always be hair in the shower drain <laughs> and like when i brushed it it was just hair falling out all the time throughout my whole life um but then about a year into keto i cut my own hair and i cut it pretty short to about here because i wanted it to feel really full um so like without all the weight of the length holding it down or weighing it down um, and then right after I cut it I noticed it felt really <laughs> thin and I was a little worried so I dealt with that thin hair for a year and it didn't really grow back out very long like it used to um, during that year too I also noticed fingernail like brittle fingernails I was breaking nails like once a month and my toenails had these ridges in them um, horizontally and they were really brittle too so regarding the hair loss on carnivore diet I confirm the fact that it does happen especially if your diet was way more different than the carnivore one before you started the carnivore diet. If you come from backgrounds with loads of carbs, loads of caffeine in any form, and loads of simple simple sugars, then not only that you would find the change, the transmission very difficult into the carnivore diet, but you would also lose a lot of hair. Recently, I uh, joined a carnivore group on Facebook, and uh, I thought it might be fun just to, you know, share and have other people share with me, as you all do, um, that, you know, the problems and the questions, and a couple of questions came up about hair, and they were like, I'm doing carnivore and my hair is falling out. When most people start to experience this hair loss phenomenon, it's right around the three month mark when you're fat adapted and you're already just really getting into that ketogenic lifestyle. What I would encourage you to do is use a calorie and macro tracking app. Um, you know, doing keto, has really like made my hair just a little bit thinner. I was like noticing a lot more hair loss, um, you know, in the showers, just hair coming out and my hair wasn't growing as fast. So I, did, I was doing a bunch of research and wanting to like, I'm like, okay, we gotta, we gotta fix this. Like even my husband was like, oh, you're awfully losing a lot of hair. So it's kind of scary. I've been keto, low carb, then I've done carb cycling in with it all um, for, for some years now, okay, for some years. And I did notice in the beginning that, you know, I did have a, a lot of hair loss and like I said, it's normal for you to have hair loss when you start a dietary restriction or any type of dietary change. It's very, very normal, but it didn't stop. So I do. So, um, I literally cut my hair off. If you go watch my other videos, my hair is so much longer, uh, but it was thin. Um, I cut my hair off just to get like a new start. Before I get into today's topic, which is hair loss on keto, a very common, very scary issue for some people. Hair loss on keto. Why does it happen? How do we reverse it? And how do we prevent it? Hi, I'm Ginger. I've been keto for five years. And in this video, we're going to discuss one of those side effects that some people on keto experience, which is hair loss. Still, what if you're taking your electrolytes, you're being careful, you're following your macros, and you find that you're losing a lot of hair. What I noticed during this 30-day period of eating only raw meat without raw dairy is a little bit of hair loss, which is still within the normal range. The fallout was actually insignificant now that I think about it. Still, it alerted me because I usually don't have any fallout. 
it's perfectly normal to lose anywhere from 50 to 100 strands of hair per day. When eating raw meat without raw dairy, I would lose something like 20 strands of hair per day, which is still within the normal range of healthy hair loss. It's definitely not like the massive hair loss I experienced during my raw vegan days. On this no dairy experiment, just a few strands of hair fell out. This never happened before when I had raw dairy with raw meat. With raw dairy, I had almost zero hair loss, not a single fallout on any given day. There are no other confounders as far as food goes. It's a simple elimination experiment. Chateris paribus. All other things are equal or exactly the same. The only change is the removal of dairy. By dairy, I mean grass-fed raw butter, raw sour cream, clabbered raw milk, and cheese that's as raw as possible or at least artisanal cheese that's traditionally made. I haven't drawn any conclusions yet. I'm still in the middle of said experiment. The slight hair loss could be due to not eating enough calories. I can only eat so much meat. One pound of meat is the most I can eat in a day. Raw butter and sour cream certainly help with increasing caloric intake. So tonight we have uh, a topic that seems to always be talked about and for different reasons, right? Let's talk about hair loss. Let's talk about the ketogenic diet and hair loss because doesn't it just seem to happen no matter what we do or the biotin we take or whatever we do, hair loss happens. And it's almost like we start screaming, oh, what do we take? Are we getting enough protein? Well, what's the best biotin? Uh, whatever, hair loss is real. And um, I've experienced it three times for different reasons too. Two for one reason, one for another reason. This time with a keto hair loss update. Now I did a video a while back showing my hair loss bald spots, patches in my hair, um, where you can see my scalp pretty much any way I turn. And a lot of people ask for an update video on that because hair loss for some of us, well, for all of us probably, is kind of a scary concept. Now, almost everybody I know who does keto has experienced hair loss. So from gorgeous blonde hair down to my dairy hair, up to me realizing I was losing all my hair and there was bald spots everywhere and cutting it up to my ears. What I keep hearing about the keto diet and a little bit of what I've experienced myself is that it can contribute to hair loss. I keep seeing this in this Facebook group that I am part of, and I'll link up that link to the Facebook group for hair loss and thinning hair. And I've seen a number of times and a number of people chiming in that they have lost hair on the keto diet. And I don't mean a little bit of hair, I mean that like it sort of was the, precip pre the precipitating factor for their hair to fall out. And so, and I had to stop. Like I cannot do keto. I had done low carb and I've given up doing low carb eating and any kind of restrictive dieting. When you change your diet or you're going really low carb, it can be that your hormones shift and this leads to hair loss. And another thing is that you're perhaps in need of some carb ups. And this is going to try and do every seven days. You just add one carb up to your routine and then just get a little bit of sweet potato in the evening. Actually been really significant for me is hair loss. I have had a ton of hair loss and it really came about three months in. We're now five months in. About 10 days ago, I started collagen because I just cannot deal with it anymore. I mean, I would brush my hair, I'd have a chunk. I get in the shower, I'm washing my hair, I have another chunk. As I'm blow drying my hair, I have another chunk. Like I would have a full handful every time I take a shower or anytime I brush my hair and it just really got me a little bit worried. I have been reading up on it. It may be lack of protein. However, I really try to maintain my macros. I'm definitely still eating protein. Uh, so just something that I'm being more mindful of, but collagen is definitely something that I put in my diet to hopefully help it out. So the reason that we had excessive shedding during intermittent fasting and keto and one meal a day is because you go into a calorie deficit. So what I do to combat these things is I take a few different supplements um, that help depends on if I'm doing very, very strict keto, very strict intermittent fasting, or if I'm just doing kind of low carb with intermittent fasting. Still, I get, you know, shedding. I had to take it to a stream, yeah. They y'all looking at me sideways. And you will get other me. I am right Nate.